I've continued working on the mountain biking simulation. I have been trying to make it as realistic as I can. I've made some previous videos mostly focused on rider technique. In this video, I'm going to focus on the bike suspension. I now have a screen to adjust the spring rates and the damping of various components of the rider and the bike. I want to take a more in-depth look at what happens when you adjust these different parameters. For example, removing all the damping in the suspension of the fork and the shock makes the bike very bouncy. The left set of sliders controls the spring rates and are indicated by the K letters. On the right side are the damping parameters, which are indicated by the D letter. At the bottom, we have the gravity of the world and the overall damping of the world. But it's probably best not to play with gravity too much. The first thing to do when setting up a new bike suspension is to check the sag. The sag is the compression with just the weight of the rider. To do this, first we'll set the damping to maximum to eliminate any bouncing. You can see in the lower left that the shock is only compressed by about 10%, so we need to reduce the spring rate on the shock. So now the fork and shock have settled in at almost 30%, which is pretty good. Now let's try a very low damping on the fork and the shock. You can see the bike is very bouncy, and you can also see in the lower left, the graph of the shock shows that bouncing. We definitely need more damping, so let's try a higher damping number and see what happens. With the higher damping, the bike takes a very long time to settle. So we want to find a damping rate which allows the bike to settle quickly without bouncing too much. The graphs in the lower left show the gray zones as the compression on each of the two air suspension elements. The Blue lines are the forces on the arms and the legs in newtons. It looks like for this rider, the best suspension setting is about in the middle of the slider bar. So I've covered the basics of simple and static suspension tuning. In another video, I will cover dynamic suspension tuning. We can set up ideal test conditions and graph the air shock response in order to tune the dynamic performance. We can choose the best settings for control, speed, and of course the most important thing, comfort.